Okay, welcome to Packet Tracer Lab 4118 using Traceroute Discover the network. So I had a lot of feedback from my first video for Chapter 4 saying it wasn't very helpful because I wasn't actually filling out the chart as we went along. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So Packet Tracer is open, my chart's open. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be opening up cells and going to the desktop. So where is cells? Oh, cells is over here. I'm going to be going to the desktop, and I will be going up to its command prompt. First, IP config to see what my machine is. So my IP address is 172.16.0.8. It is a DHCP address, so that should be fine. My default gateway is 172.16.0.1. And where does that correlate to our map? Well, I'm connected to R4. And R4 has two additional serial connections, an intranet and a internet. And I'm going to probably have a safe assumption that this right here is going to be my default gateway. Just because again, I'm on cells and my cells PC is showing that as my default gateway, just to make sure. And it's active, so I'm going to assume that that's correct. Next, I actually want to go ahead and I want to do a lookup for our new server because we per, uh, apparently they put a new server in place, which should be part of the B2 server. So as I'm looking for B2 server, I don't quite see it on this branch. So I see a branch one server. I don't see a branch two server. But it wants us to do it anyway, so ns lookup. And it wants us to do oh, ns lookup b2 server.pt.pka. And we should see a 128. 107.64.254 address. That should let us know that it's probably going to be part of possibly a well it's here but what network is it being attached to? And this is the closest thing with the first walk that's lining up not the third octet so so now that we have that let's go ahead and trace our t our route to our new server 107.64.254 and you'll notice that is our appropriate default gateway it's leaving and going to the 64 network, then 64, and then 64 again, and then finally leaving to go to 128, 107, 64. So let's go ahead and tell them that to our first usable address, which should be our default gateway. So tell net 172.16.0.1. It wants us to Basically, we're leaving out R4 going out the network. So we tell net to R4 to see kind of the routes that we have. So I'm going to tell that back to it. What's really funny is they didn't give us a password, but the password is Cisco all lowercase. But now we are on R4. Let's go ahead and Enable. Oh, 
the password is class, big surprise. Let's do a show IP interface brief to see what our interfaces are. I'm gonna resize my window a little bit. So my gigabit fast ethernet's up. My two serials are up. I also have the serial 01 parent interface is up, and this is also then a sub interface. I'm not sure of the significance of, of that right now, but yeah. So let's, which interface is used to reach the next device? In our hop, you'll notice here we went 64. 150. So that meant it left our serial 000 interface. Our instructions still want us to do a show run, even though we already figured out the appropriate portions, things such as natting. We're doing one-to-one -one NAT, so we can actually do a specific address and port number and then sending it to the appropriate IPs, well, NATing it to the appropriate IPs, doing things such as frame relaying, PPP, that's always really sad, but yeah. It wants us to connect to the second device in our traceroute list which is a 64 100 150 to address. So down that to, won't lie, totally forgot the address. Now that we're here, this device is called Tier 3A. We're going to go and do a show IP route. And here we show all of our appropriate routes. I'm going to Just keep this here. We've already done that one. We're currently working on this one. So we're looking for what interface will allow us to get the 64.104.222.2. So which route will allow us to go out that way? And it should be this guy here, which is connected to gigabit zero zero so we left router four going out serial zero 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 come on show me my interfaces being a little bit of pain in the butt but this is my serial zero zero connection and then from this internet, it's leaving and going out serial, sorry, fast gigabit ethernet, zero, zero. All right, so the next thing it wants us to do is tell it to the third address, 64.104.222.6. Oh, help us if I spell telnet, right? Telnet dot six. Okay, so let's try this again. We're going to telnet. Notice the device name B2R1. We're going to do a show IP route. 
we know since we are he here that we're going to be looking for the next hop, which is 64. All right, let's 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 take a step back. We're actually going to go. We want to tell them that to 22 or 222.2 .2 first. Got ahead of myself. Show IP route. So this is the one that we are currently on. Notice again the router name, ISP tier 3B. We're going to be connecting to 64.104.22.6. Twenty two slash four with a slash thirty. That means five and six are usable. So we're gonna be going out fast Ethernet zero two's interface so that we can get to the appropriate item. So from here we're gonna tell net to one oh four dot two 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 dot six. One oh four dot two 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 dot six. Log into it. Show IP route. So we are now on this network. And so we are looking at which interface will allow us to connect to one twenty eight one oh seven sixty four dot two fifty five. So we are looking at This guy right here. Notice the uh, the network. It is directly connected to fast the gigabit Ethernet one, and that should be that network. All right. So with that information, we should actually be able to figure out the appropriate documentation uh, for our drawing. So I'm going to go back. So we did one, two, third network. So actually, I want to go back a little bit. And notice back to this guy right here, back to the third network. Telnet 64.104.222.2. Log into it. So IP and brief. We want to see what device is connecting to. Gigabit zero two. You'll notice F A or F zero one. Yep, that's right. So this part of the IP address should be sixty four one hundred eight dot one. This should also be. Two. So now our address chart is complete. And we've been able to ping through all of it. So using that information, we should actually be able to figure out the appropriate new branch office. Because we went from cells to router, from router 4, out serial 01's interface. Once we were here, we are finally able to leave. So our document wants us to draw the appropriate design. I've given you all the steps for you to be able to do this. Go back if you're not sure. Show IP routes.
This will give us details on each of the devices as we go through them. Also, show IP int brief will give us the appropriate addresses for that device that we're currently on. Using those two sets of commands, you should be able to make this drawing.